On St. David's Day, Princess Kate wore a set of sentimental gloves that were 17 years old. On Wednesday, Kate and Prince William attended the 1st Battalion Welsh Guards March. The princess went to the procession for the first time with her spouse since he succeeded King Charles as Colonel of the regiment. Kate donned a striking red coat by Alexander McQueen, the color of the Welsh dragon, along with a black fascinator-style hat and matching black gloves. The princess had previously been spotted sporting the same gloves, astute royal fans noticed. She donned a black and red outfit to William's passing out parade at Sandhurst in 2006, which was almost 17 years ago. The Princess of Wales met the 1st Battalion Welsh Guards while attending the St. David's Day Parade in Windsor, according to Twitter user Atfan Bibijana. She wore one of their designs, as verified by the designer Evika Milovanov Panezic. Kate Middleton wore them for the first time in 2006. According to the designer, Kate possesses more than 10 Evika gloves, which she bought in a small London shop, the fashion expert continued. The assortment of Russell embroidery included Kate's gloves. According to OK! Magazine, another supporter, at Lavefamilowills, said. Um, love this. She barely changed, continued to wear red, and actually grew more attractive over time. Thank you for liking and following. At Eddie Foscu, a fellow Twitter user, added. A small detail that teaches us so much about Catherine. Preserving the past while introducing the future. The Welsh Guards banter, the Prince of Wales said in a speech to rank and file troops, had helped him get through his own time in the regiment. When William and Kate arrived at the parade, marching bands welcomed them. I am both honored and pleased to be standing here in front of you today as your new colonel, William said to them. At the same time, I regret that my father isn't with us today to bid us farewell, but I know he would speak about his fierce admiration and pride for each of you, as well as his own sadness at leaving a position he has held dear since 1975. My experiences with the Welsh Guard sniper platoon Salisbury Plain rank among my fondest army recollections, despite the fact that they may not have been the simplest or driest times for me. The Welsh Guards were also present for another significant event in my life, this time, I was receiving my A-level results over the Bowman radio in the Belizean rainforest. Many of you will be familiar with the sensation of being in a jungle, you're scorching hot, perpetually drenched in rain, and there's nowhere to hide from possibly terrible outcomes, it could have been a really bad day. But in the end, it was the camaraderie, the unity, and of course the banter of the Welsh Guards that helped me get through that time, and it's an era I remember with affection. Comment below with your thoughts on this. I also ask that you like and subscribe to the video at the conclusion.